Hey guys, welcome to another how-to video. Today I'm going to show you how to install shaders and Optifine for Tekkit Legends. So you want to open up your technical entry that you have installed from the Technic website, which I will leave a link to in the description. And once this opens, should, shouldn't take much longer, um, you want to sign in and all that. And once you have Tekkit Legends installed, you want to go to mod pack options uh, and underneath here is what uh, it'll show your install folder you want to click open and then here you want to go to mods alright guys sorry about that cut we're back and you want to open up a chrome window like I already have here you want to type in shaders mod you want to click the first link that pops up Okay, you actually want to go to shadersmod.com. You actually want to go to shadersmod.com. That one will be the one that you want. Scroll all the way down until you find the 1710. Go here, and it should install the jar file automatically. I don't know why that symbol shows like the AdFly page. That's weird. <laughs> Anyways, um, it will install the Shaders Mod Core, which you want to drag onto your desktop. And the shaders that I suggest you use will be um, at least some of these in here, depending on how good your computer is. Like if you don't have the greatest computer but you have a if you have a decent GPU or graphics card, um, you can use like the legless shaders mod. I use if sliders would actually work for me. I no sliders does work, never mind. Um, I usually use sliders or if S Zeus or Seuss would work for me, that would be nice, but I keep having some weird issue with it. Either way, these are the few that I recommend, but either way, let's get back to the video, and yeah. You want to put your jar mod, yeah, that's doing that thing, you can minimize that for right now. You want to grab this, drag it in here. I already have it in here. Yeah, right there. Same version? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Anyways, uh, drag it in there. Should be put in there. And now I will show you how to install Optifine. So let's search Optifine. If I can spell correctly, which I can't. <laughs> you want to go to the Minecraft form one to get to the 1710 installer. Actually, no, that's for earlier versions. Never mind. You can head to the basic Optifine website, optifine.net. Alright, once your Optifine page is loaded, you want to scroll down until you find Minecraft 1.7.10, and you want to click the Ultra one, HDUD8. I think that's one I use. Um... No, I use D6. Actually, let's update my app to find. So, download. Should bring you an app play page. And this will pop up if you have, like, ad block like I do. Just click continue and it should restart the thing. It hates that we have ad block, but you know what? Not disabling it. You can skip ad. Click download. You should download pretty quick here. Um, because of the fact it's a jar file, it always does that. You want to click keep, especially if you're using Chrome. Let's make that like that. And once that's done doing a thing, you can just, you don't have to drag this to your desktop, you can just drag it right in here. And close that. Minimize you. Open up Tech Launcher again and click play. And I'll be back once my Ticket Legends launches.
All right, so it crashed. I'm going to assume it's the Optify version. So you don't want to pick D8 because that will give you issues with installing. So you actually want to install the HD D6 version, which I will go ahead and re-put back in, so I'll be right back. So yeah, you want the Optify in HD UD6. You want that one in because that one is actually works with Hega Legends. I don't know why, but either way, let's relaunch. All right, as you can see, Minecraft is loaded. So let's reopen this. I'm not reopen. What am I talking about? And um, you should have the shaders button here when you go into options. If not, you must have installed it incorrectly. So when you're in shaders, you want to open up shaders pack, and of course, drop in the shaders that you have downloaded from uh, this. Yeah, this page, I think. I know you can download the shader packs from... Yeah, from here you can download the shader packs. Yeah, there's like sliders, there's new stuff. Yeah, either way. I will select... I already have my sliders selected. So... Yeah, I will see you guys in the world in a minute. Yeah, I picked Amplified, because why the fuck not? Either way, let's get in the world. See you guys in a minute. Here we go, as you can see, shaders works. Wait, do I have... Hold on a second. Oh, that's not loading correctly. <laughs> Let's do a bit of... Um, exploding. I don't know why auto jump is on. There's no option to turn it off, so that's weird. By the way, yeah, pretty much that works. I need to see, besides that water source, there isn't much water. Actually, there's water over here. Oh, that that wasn't even supposed to load. It's just giant floating landmass. <laughs> it's funny. And leave in the comments if you want me to do like a showcase of some of the different shader packs cause why not I got nothing better else to do so yeah well guys uh... this is pretty much how you install uh... shaders and optifine for this even though you don't want the hdud8 version you want the hdud6 uh, version of Optifine that will work better with um, Ticket Legends. I don't know if it, I think it's like an incompatibility thing or whatever, but hope you found this uh, interesting and helpful for when you try it yourself or if you're doing it along with me. Th that's pretty cool too. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next how to video, which I'm not sure what that'll be next, but we'll see. Anyways, guys, see ya.